Welcome to my garden. This is Vincent. I'm going to be doing a succulent arrangement today for a friend of mine's birthday, uh, Melanie. So we're going to just get started here. I've got some uh, potting soil in here. I have a couple rocks at the bottom of the hole so that the dirt doesn't wash out. And then I mixed in some lava rock. It's a decorative small lava rock that adds drainage. And so I'm gonna get started. Just start building up your succulents. I'm gonna use your tallest ones where you want your height. And just arrange them in there. I have some rocks I'm going to use as well. We'll just stick those in here now. And this is uh, Portolocaria. It's a dwarf variety with the variegated leaves, as you can see. And then you don't need all this stem, so I just cut them off. And you don't need roots with succulents. That's why we're working with the cuttings. So I just snip them off or cut them off with scissors. Clippers. And you can just pack them in there real tight. Just want to make sure to get, let the uh, cutting touch the soil so it can root. And I'm not sure the, the exact varieties of succulents these are. I'll try and look them up, but um, there's so many different ones, it's hard to tell exactly. But these all do very well here. I've been growing these for years. Sometimes you might need a little bit. Pack in a little bit of rock in there. And I'll use this as a top dressing when I'm done to fill in any gaps. I'm going to tuck in as many rosettes as I can into this arrangement so it's nice and full. I want this to look real pretty. And I have some sedum here. This one has kind of an orange color to it. I've been doing these succulent arrangements since I lived in Austin. And there, succulents are very popular because it's so hot in the summer and dry. I'm gonna secure these in here just enough so it's not falling apart. Just tuck as many in there as I can tuck. Just like this. And I have more of these sets. I'm going to be redoing all of my succulent arrangements. It's probably good to leave a little space so you can see your top dressing and appreciate that. Then I want some stuff spilling out over the front so we're going to try and work these in. This is an ice plant. 
That's real pretty flowers. I'm gonna need to tuck in some soil there. I have some sto soil stashed back there. Here, I wanna put this ice plant. I'm gonna put some sedum back in here that's spilling this sedum here. Okay, here we go, that's our ice plant. Work in all these little cuttings around here. Give it just a little naturalistic effect. Basically, you're creating a garden in a pot. And these succulents do so well with no roots that you just don't need them. Hopefully this ice plant will do okay. I love the flowers of the ice plant. Sometimes they're a little finicky. And I'll save this for another arrangement. I don't like the way the sedum's looking, so I'm just going to take this out. And I'll stuff in some more succulents. Right down in there. More portalocaria. Don't want to waste that. That's real pretty. I'll give it a little height there in the back. More sedums. I think these are what they call ghosties. Don't know the technical name of those. Pay more attention to the names. <laughs> so there you go. Beautiful succulent arrangement. We're going to be doing a lot of these pretty soon. Redoing all of my succulent arrangements. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.